Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about the operations that we can perform on a stack. So in the previous video, we saw the introduction to stacks where we understood what a stack is, how it functions and some applications of the stack. So now we, are, we try to understand how to add and remove elements from the stack. So adding of an element in a stack is known as pushing the element or it is the push operation that we performed okay so the push operation adds a new element at the top of the stack so in the previous video we learned that the top of the stack is the end from which the addition or removal of elements happens okay so uh, every time you add an element to the stack the top of the stack gets changed okay because uh, when you add the first element the top points to the first element then when you add the second element the top will then point to the second element present in the stack okay so the push operation adds a new element and this operation can only be performed when the stack is not full so you need to check if the stack is full then no new elements will be added to the stack and even if you try to add elements when the stack is full it will lead to an overflow exception so we have studied exceptions in the previous classes you can refer to those videos that i have linked on the right hand side also as well as in the description box so if you try to uh, add an element or push an element into a stack that is already full it will lead to an overflow exception okay so every time before pushing an element you need to check whether the stack capacity is full or not okay now this was the addition of new elements now let's come to the removal of elements and the removal of elements uh, this operation is known as the pop operation okay so every time you perform a pop operation it will remove one element that is the topmost element present in the stack so pop will only remove a single element and that element will be the one that was the last time last uh, inserted or the most recently inserted into the stack because we know stack follows the LIFO principle which is the last in first out. So the element that is present at the top which is pointed by the top pointer will be removed using the pop um, of this uh, using the pop operation of the stack okay. So again there is a condition that you need to check when you performing the pop operation the pop operation can only be performed if the stack is not empty that means if there are still elements that are present in the stack then only you can pop them out otherwise if you try to pop from an empty stack you will lead uh, you will give rise to the underflow exception okay so in both the cases whether you are performing push or you are performing pop operation on a stack you need to check a certain condition whether the stack is empty or whether it is full okay now let's visually see these two operations let's say we have a stack which is obviously initially empty and the first time i push an element so when i push an element say one the top of the stack now points to the element that i have just inserted okay and since the stack was not full i was able to push a new element that is why the top now points to the most recently inserted element which is one and this is the top of the stack now i insert another element say two so to do that i perform the push operation and i push element two so since again the stack is not full i can perform the push operation the element gets inserted the top of the stack now points to the uh, last inserted element which is 2 and the this is the updated uh, uh, you know updated configuration of the stack now this stack contains two elements 1 and 2 and if now we want to remove an element we perform the pop operation and in that case the op the element that was present at the top that particular element will be removed so since 
element 2 was present at the top of the stack this element gets removed and only single element is left in the stack and the top now points to the element 1 so the top a pointer or the top variable in the stack will automatically get updated whenever you perform a push or a pop operation and while performing the pop operation rather before performing the pop operation we need to check whether the stack is empty or not and since the stack was not empty we were able to perform the pop operation now if we further want to remove this element we can again check whether the stack is empty or not as of now the stack is not empty it contains one element so we can perform the pop operation this will lead to an empty stack so now there are no more elements present in the stack and the stack has become empty so this is how visually you can understand how the push and pop operations work how you you will be implementing stack and its operation in python i will be explaining with the code in the next video so stay tuned to our channel i hope you have understood both these topics thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam